Now we're going to have a look at modifying and creating custom panels for our curtain wall. So first of all, let's just have a little look at what we have got here. So if you point the cursor at the base of a panel and then press the tab key one press at a time until it cycles through the different options. There we go. And now it's got the one panel highlighted. Click with the mouse and you'll see that we've got the system panel glazed highlighted. OK, so we can click the edit type. And as we can see here, we have an offset from the face of the curtain, from the curtain wall itself. And then we've got the glass material and we've got the thickness and some information about it. So you could just edit the thickness here, make it 35, say OK. And that does produce just a slightly thicker pane of glass. Now, Notice the position of the glass as it is at the moment. Let's click Edit Type again. Let's change the offset to zero. This is not what you would have in real life, but now you can see it's dead centered. All right, so maybe you would have that. And so it's the offset from the center. So just bear that in mind. All right, as you can see there. Um, and this has affected all of the panels thus far. So that's your first sort of basic edits with the edit type by here. So just going to click OK by there. Now we're going to have a little look at making one of these a solid panel. So I've still got the one highlighted. Click on the type selector. And you'll notice that we've got the solid panel option by here. So it does come preloaded with the one solid panel. So let's again click the edit type and just see what's available. So we've got the offset there. We have the material is currently set to default and then we have the thickness. So again, you can adjust those settings and you can change the material to copper if you want. There we go click OK. At the moment, that just shows as black. If we change it to realistic, it shows a bit more in colour. OK, so that's your basic level of editing. And if you want to do that and have a few extra ones that are of the basic edits, you can look in your project browser, scroll down, open up the property, the families, go to curtain panels, and you've got glazed and solid. So what you can do is right click on one of those, duplicate it, and then glaze to, you could give it a little name if you want to. So I could make that, you know, the, say a 50 millimeter if you wanted, and then right click on it and, or rather than right, oh, type properties, there we go just straight back into it. And then I could just make that thickness 50 millimeters to match what I've said and any other little changes you want. So you can do that with the solid and you can do that with the glass. But let's just say you want something a bit more than just a solid panel, um, a composite material perhaps, perhaps a solid panel with a different face on each side. So what we're going to do to achieve this, we're going to go to File, Open Family, and Curtain Wall Panels. Now we have quite a lot of panels to pick from. All right, so what I'm going to do is go for the solid panel, which is the one that's there at the moment. Open that. And just press continue with that warning. So what we have here is our basic panel out of the material selected. So let's open up a couple of views. All right, the floor plan, the baseline. So that shows us that there. And the elevation exterior, that one's probably handy to have open as well. 
and you'll notice we've already got these reference planes which that is locked onto the existing extrusion which is what we're going to be doing with whatever we create. So I'm going to go to the baseline and for this one I'm just going to simply add um, a couple layers here and maybe some more um, items there. So let's do create extrusion and we'll create the extrusion across there filling in that 25 millimeter gap. Make sure you press the lock button on these. Okay so it's locking all four edges and then we want to look at the material. So for this one I'm going to give this one a plaster. Now it's not peering there at the moment. So let's go for gypsum wallboards, load that in, click on that and just say OK. Now we'll go to the exterior and we can see it's just a flat line at the moment. So let's tick it. And now we can grab that blue arrow, drag it up to the top and press the lock button by there as well. So what we now have is a composite panel, okay, with this one as a 25 millimeter thick locked into those reference planes down here. All right. And what we could do if we wanted to is create another reference plane and then another material and lock those in as well and create um, a real sort of composite panel with different faces and perhaps insulation on the inside. And what we're going to do now is just do file save as important that you do this. Otherwise, you'll just overwrite the existing one. So this one is going to be solid with plaster board and save. OK, and then we can load that into our project. And now we can go back over here. And when we highlight one of these panels, there we go, we can now use the type selector and we can find, there we go, curtain panel, solid plasterboard inner and click on that panel. And there we go. So now we can see that it's faced two different ways. All right, two different faces. So we've created that panel. And again, if we wanted to highlight that one panel and just change some of these properties like the offsets, OK, we could change that. So we'll just change that to a 25 and have a little look at that. There we go. We can see that that has made quite a difference by there. So you can just play around with that and position that. So that is how you can modify the existing panels that are there and then create some custom new ones 